Hate number 5. Weak LCL, liquidity, search difficulty. It's worth saying right away that finding a Cadillac SRX in perfect condition on the secondary market is very difficult. Firstly, this model has never been widespread, and accordingly, the supply is not that great. The SRX is a very specific car and by its nature is not suitable for everyone. Accordingly, there are examples whose owners changed almost every year and it would be strange to expect that these temporary owners were especially diligent in caring for and maintaining the car. This means that it is worth looking for a car that has had one, maximum two owners, and there are very few of those. The SRX is also not very good as a temporary solution to transportation problems. There are situations in life when you need to buy something not too expensive, but you want to ride in comfort. Many reviewers write that it is very difficult to sell the SRX on the secondary market and that the car is quickly losing value. Although there are, of course, those who, contrary to fears, sold the car in one hour, and at the average market price, and the calls began immediately after the announcement was published. Serious concerns are caused by the state of the paintwork, the paintwork is worn around the entire doorway, traces like after a file, rough, deep scratches to the ground, original paintwork is very weak. Chips, scratches, etc. can be obtained literally from the look. Some even advise in the case of cosmetic repairs, it is important to use non-original paint and varnish. Love number 5, Design and Exclusivity. In many reviews, their authors admit that the decisive argument in favor of buying the Cadillac SRX was the extraordinary appearance of this car, I just liked it. And I have never regretted the purchase. I even came across the statement that the SRX is a car for an esthete. The look of the SRX evokes various associations, but most often they are associated with either space or aviation, it feels like good old American design a la spaceship. Those long lights, tube-shaped dimensions, the shine of the car, without busting with moldings, the Cadillac SRX has the chopped look of a Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk stealth fighter. I really like the signature tail fins that are positioned vertically, I really like them. The design is reminiscent of the 1970s, when American cars were works of art. I am delighted. But a certain exclusivity becomes an equally important factor, and this is a plus for people who do not like cars like everyone else. Of course, these cars are on the roads, but this is not at all a mass option, you may like the appearance or not, but at least it evokes unambiguous emotions, is remembered and distinguishes the car from its fellows in the stream. Again, the car is relatively rare even in Moscow, not to mention the regions, writes one of the owners, explaining his choice. Hate number 4, Navigation, Electronics, Electrical For the level of the end of the first decade of the XXI century, the SRX was a very technologically advanced car, and one of the manifestations of this was the head media device with a retractable screen and a built-in navigation program. But the built-in navigation did not cause much enthusiasm, the navigator is about nothing, only large cities, and even then all the information of the last century, without house numbers and small streets. The retractable monitor itself can also fail, and its repair is not at all cheap, the mechanism that retracts the monitor has failed, and since the warranty has long ended, its repair was estimated at 200,000. There are also less radical problems. The signal from the rear-view camera may be lost, the multimedia screen may turn off, and the touch part may continue to work, the USB and AUX inputs may turn off. Usually this kind of problem is treated by restarting the engine or hard rebooting with resetting the battery terminal, but this does not always help. There are a lot of complaints that the head unit can suddenly forget the Russian language. These problems are not the most significant and are more likely to cause irritation, but they are quite widespread. Quite regularly there are also complaints about problems with the remote key. For example, the car simply stops seeing the key for a while and, of course, refuses to start. I won't say that this happens often, but once I struggled for 15 minutes to start the car, I was late for a meeting it really pissed me off, says one of the owners in his review. And there are a lot of complaints about the quality of standard batteries, the car began to behave inappropriately after every wash you drive into the box yourself, but they roll out of the box, and until you light a cigarette, you won't start it. 
the battery needs to be replaced, and this is the third one in a row. But batteries of the required size and capacity are not sold everywhere. Love number 4, Interior and Urbanomics. About the ergonomics and interior equipment of the Cadillac SRX enthusiastically write even those who managed to buy a killed or just an unsuccessful copy. Let's start with the fact that not only the seats and the steering column are adjustable, but also the pedal assembly, and the range of adjustments allows you to choose a comfortable position for a person of almost any height, with height up to 195 centimeters. Other controls are also rationally located, comfort, convenience, and style immediately caught my eye. All buttons are located conveniently and clearly, a couple of days were enough to switch everything without looking. The owners really like the seat profile, although it would seem that the SRX cannot boast of developed lateral support. But even those who at first thought the seats were too wide, then imbued with the American ideology of comfort and realized how important it is to be able to change the fit and body position on long hauls. I walked 2,200 kilometers nonstop and felt fine, nowhere else have I seen such comfortable ones for my back. The materials with which the interior is trimmed clearly declare the premium status of the brand, even the upper part of the front panel is covered with genuine leather. Aluminum inserts really aluminum, and not made of plastic aluminum, natural wood. The skin is thick, natural, does not lose its appearance over time, the car was made in 2014, but you still sit down, and the interior greets you with a pleasant smell of leather that you can't confuse with anything. The reviewers are also pleased with the excellent functional content, it's jam-packed, everything that was invented is already there. Among the individual options, reviewers note backlighting, seat ventilation, which really helps out in the heat, a panoramic roof with a huge sunroof, and an entertainment system for rear passengers. The last option is especially popular with fathers of families, I put cartoons in the back seats for the children and there was silence in the cabin. The owners also evaluate the trunk quite positively, large. A convenient limiter on the skids, with which you can press the luggage to the back of the seats, and nothing will roll and hang out. The chairs fold down into a flat floor. But still, the main thing is the general impression, you sit behind the wheel, like in the cockpit of an A310, everything lights up, black panel with sensors instead of buttons. Everything glows, but you feel the spirit of minimalism and restraint. By the way, I didn't come across any complaints about the operation of the touch buttons. In general, as one of the fans of the model wrote, Cadillac is impeccable. Everything is in its place, you don't even know everything you have, and for that kind of money you can't buy anything like it. No way, all my friends who have seen the car completely agree with this. Hate number 3, Winter Problems and Patency Some SRX problems show up during the cold season. Many reviews, for example, mention the loud suspension creak that appears in winter, which is heard even in the cabin. And this is not a bug, but a feature, that is, a design feature that is simply useless to deal with. Often in wet and cold weather, belts begin to whistle. Loss of contact between the car and the remote key also most often happens in winter, in cold weather, if the key is in a cold place in the car, for example, in the central glove compartment, when it is colder than minus 20 in more than half an hour, then it freezes and the car does not seize. There is only one way out, to store the key in a warm place, for example, in the pocket of trousers or jackets, and if the key is still frozen, the owners advise warming it up for 1 to 2 minutes. Other problems are possible. The reviews mention freezing door and trunk handles, flying hoses, for example, power steering, mirror folding servos that stop working. But many owners consider the main problem, which manifests itself not only in winter, to be insufficient permeability. On the one hand, officially the SRX has quite decent ground clearance for a crossover, 179 to 208 mm depending on the year of manufacture. It's just not clear how this clearance was measured. The whole picture is spoiled by a huge front overhang with a low slung rubber skirt. The gap between this skirt and the road does not exceed 100 millimeters, and, as owners write in reviews, it will be torn off at the first curb. The gap between the asphalt and the plastic crankcase protection is also only 12 to 15 centimeters, 
but in Russia there are roads where the norm for the difference in the track reaches 20 centimeters. In general, there is enough cross-country ability for the city, and in winter you can drive along an uncleaned path to it's also possible at home, but it's not advisable to go into more serious off-road conditions. When you start scratching the elastic band on your skirt against something, it's a signal that you shouldn't climb further. Love number 3, Smooth Ride and Ride Comfort The owners do not spare kind words when describing their impressions of the Cadillac SRX suspension, the suspension is simply fantastic. We have a section of the road here, about 70 kilometers, where there are no roads, so I was driving there at a speed of about 110 to 110 kilometers per hour, and never quit. Nothing rattles, nothing knocks, you can only hear the wheels working the road, Comfort 5 Plus. Excellent ride quality and sound insulation, at the level of Mercedes-Benz. He doesn't notice the joints even on 20-wheel drives, the waves of asphalt are also great. Indeed, an important component of driving comfort is excellent sound insulation, which, in the vast majority of reviews, the authors evaluate purely positively, noise insulation is excellent, after changing the studded shoes for summer, there is no difference in the cabin. Well, the driving comfort, combined with the comfort of the cabin itself, makes the Cadillac SRX a real eater of long-distance routes, pleased with excellent dynamics and comfort. The Cadillac SRX cannot be called an adrenaline generator, rather, on the contrary, the car sets you up for meditative enjoyment of the beauty of the world around you. But this does not make it less emotional, it's just that these emotions are completely different, not those given by cars with a pronounced sporting character. Driving the SRX on the highway is fun if you go fast, but at a measured pace, and not at a ragged pace, and practically do not use kickdown. Perhaps one of the owners expressed this most accurately in his review, every time I feel an emotional uplift from how this car is made, how it drives, how it looks. And every time she does everything right. Hate number 2, Box Problems. The lion's share of critical arrows in reviews from Cadillac SRX owners is directed at the car's transmission, or more precisely, at the GM Hydromatic 6T76 speed automatic transmission. A car that was excellent in concept and execution, as a result of an incomprehensible setup, turned into a twitchy, uncomfortable, inadequate car, the box is stupid, it's not at all clear how it worked, I thought for 5 seconds when switching to a lower gear, it's impossible to drive a car it doesn't run either 3 liters or 270 horses. And everything is spoiled by a terrible automatic machine, configured in one place. It might all look something like this turn on drive, release the brake, expect the car to slowly move on its own, but this doesn't happen. If we stand slightly uphill, the car may even roll backward, despite drive being engaged, or forward when reverse gear is engaged. We give a little gas, there is almost no reaction, we give a lot of gas, the car reluctantly starts moving. We accelerated, let off the gas. Instead of the expected acceleration, the car itself begins to slow down, it feels as if the car was not completely removed from the handbrake. In order not to stop at all, we press the gas a little, the engine, instead of a smooth transition, responds with the reaction of a mongoose, with an inevitable shock in the transmission, but for some reason the desired increase in traction does not occur, the car does not accelerate. We try again, release the pedal and after a few seconds we press again, but immediately more of the same nervous reaction of the engine, an excessively sharp shift down two gears, the engine growls furiously and, finally, acceleration begins. In city mode, the gearbox also does not always select the desired gear, sometimes freezes during acceleration, and then suddenly downshifts. Sharp means really sharp. To many, on the contrary, it seemed that the gear shift algorithm during acceleration was set to a too smooth acceleration. It is worth admitting, however, that the bulk of the complaints about the box arose from owners of Prius styling cars. In 2014, the box settings were changed, and everything somehow fell into place, I immediately respond to pressure, and in sport mode it's just a song. By the way, due to the reluctance of our brother driver to read the instruction manuals, not everyone knows that the box has a sports mode, but there is no separate mode switch. The sport mode is activated when the selector is switched to manual gear shift mode. 
Love number two, handling in dynamics. It would seem that the handling of a large American crossover with a suspension tuned for maximum comfort should cause a lot of criticism. But no, everything is strictly the opposite. A huge number of owners in their reviews call handling among the main advantages of the Cadillac SRX. Management for a crossover is at its best, there are practically no rolls, there is no build-up at all, it keeps the track perfectly, does not jump out. Management, I would say, is quite like a car, in how a car swallows bumps, while riding out turns almost without rolls. The authors of the reviews are delighted. At the same time, they note the excellent coordinated work of the dynamic stabilization and all-wheel drive systems, even in extreme conditions, any skid becomes controllable in a second, and then the car pulls out with the front wheels. In the event of a serious skid or loss of control, the system simply selects control and levels the car itself, joyfully drifts on ice and snow, draws a figure eight and gives a top on the spot. Actually, I was not fond of this either this is not what the car is for, it comes out of a skid even on ice itself. The assessment of dynamic possibilities is somewhat more difficult. Acceleration usually occurs so smoothly that after cars with sporty notes and character, it may seem that the SRX is not moving. Usually it takes a new owner some time to adapt to the habits of this car, but then the questions disappear. The speakers are enough with a margin. And to leave the traffic light and on the track for overtaking on the oncoming lane is more than enough. It accelerates to 100 km per hour in 8 seconds. And yet, the authors of the reviews are sure that if you are an athlete at heart, then this car is not for you. The car accelerates very confidently and well, but until you press the pedal to the floor, you will not feel any drive. Don't ask him to race dynamics, like the X6 or Cayenne. Cadillac is something like a limousine, a car for a comfortable and imposing ride, and not for frantic starts in a race with every pitchyheta, they write. After all, the real element of the SRX is country trips. The moment when you break out of a city clogged with traffic jams on a relatively free highway and accelerates to the permitted limit in 10 seconds is what this car is for. And then you just go and enjoy the ride. By the way, SRX connoisseurs claim that the 3-liter engine is a compromise, but the car really reveals itself with a 308-horsepower 3.6-liter engine both driving fast and slow. Noble, decorous, monumental, and majestic. Sit in the pilot's seat, step on the gas pedal of the Cadillac and, remember my words. Hate number one, tax, expense, operating cost. But for thrifty and stingy people, buying a used Cadillac SRX is strictly contraindicated. When I bought a 270 horsepower car, I didn't think about the tax. Then I found out that it would be somewhere under 50,000. My wife was hysterical, let's sell. Owners of 3 liter versions produced in 2013 to 2015 find themselves in a relatively advantageous position, whose engine power is indicated in their documents as 249 horsepower. They need to pay only 18,650 rubles a year. But if, with the same displacement, the PTS has a power of 269 or 271 horsepower, then the tax amount will already be 40,350 and 40,650, respectively, in the 3.6 liter V6 with a power of 318 horsepower. Automatically means an annual wallet relief of 47,700 rubles. The next item of expenditure is regular maintenance. On the one hand, everything is convenient here, the SRX itself will remind the owner that it is time for him to go to the service center for regular procedures. But the thing is that the frequency of maintenance is determined not by mileage, but by engine hours, and the oil needs to be changed every 300 hours. Depending on the average speed in the region where you live, this may mean that the car needs to be serviced every 5 to 8,000 kilometers, that is, significantly more often than competing models. At the same time, the maintenance itself is quite expensive, I didn't fix any problems, changed the oil, filter, in general, consumables, and paid 40,000. And yet, it should be borne in mind that even relatively simple, at first glance, operations in the case of SRX can be associated with a large amount of work. 
So, in order to change the light bulb in the rear number plate light, you need to remove the inner lining from the tailgate, to remove the rear light, dismantle the side trim in the trunk, to change the light bulb in the parking light, you have to remove the headlight, and for this, remove the front bumper. One of the reviewers summed it up like this, engineering thought and the Cadillac SRX are on opposite sides of the barricade. And if you have to face the need for some serious repairs, then the annual costs can easily exceed 200 to 300,000. And here it's already how lucky. In some reviews, the authors talk about how for several years they spent an amount comparable to the initial cost on the repair and maintenance of the car, but there are also enough reviews in the style of for all the years, only maintenance and consumables. In general, statements that the car is not inferior in quality to the Germans, and in terms of reliability to the Japanese are not perceived as irresponsible chatter. Of course, if you buy a car on the secondary market that is about 10 years old, it will definitely require some investment, but in the case of the Cadillac SRX, the amount can be quite serious, the check came out, they sentenced me to replace the chains. The operation is not cheap and cost me about 50,000 rubles. After 300 km, the check came out again, replacement of catalysts, about 100,000 rubles. The error rear axle service came out, it was repaired for 70,000 rubles. In general, for an incomplete 15,000 km of run, I invested almost 200,000 in repairs. It is these two problems, replacing timing chains and catalysts, that usually arise after a mileage of about 100,000 km, and there is a very high probability that the previous owner decided to leave their solution to the new owner. This is also true for cars produced in 2014 to 2015, which are considered significantly more reliable than earlier models, but they are even more difficult to find such cars make up no more than 20% of the total supply. Finally, fuel consumption. Most owners boldly add it to the list of significant disadvantages. Oddly enough, the 3.6-liter GM LFX engine, as a rule, turns out to be even slightly more economical than the 3-liter LF1. Owners report average consumption in the region of 13L-100 km and consumption in the city, as a rule, not exceeding 17 liters per 100, hard crawling traffic jams 16 to 17L-100 km, normal city 13 to 14L, highway without violations 8.7 to 10.5 liters, depending on the relief and stripes. But the owners of cars with 3-liter engines are indignant, gasoline consumption is average 22.6 L-100 km at an average speed of 17.2 km h fill in 92 for 2,000 rubles and drive for a day and a half, and then again to the gas station, like any American he loves to eat. If on the highway the appetite is still back and forth, from 10 to 11.5 L-100 km, then in the city with the driving style Super Comfort 20L, sport from 24 and up. Here, even under 30, you can drive if you drown a slipper on the floor. One of the owners wrote that when he saw an average consumption indicator of 17L-100 km on the screen of the onboard computer, this even pleased him. Love number 1, Security. As a rule, the safety of a particular model is the last thing its Russian owners remember. But in the case of the Cadillac SRX, this is not the case. We chose the SRX because it's American, it's heavy, big, attractive, and safe. Safe is the key word. Actively working systems are added to the passive safety of a very strong body, and they work quite correctly, automatic high beam, a blind spot sensor and an indicator of the rapid approach of an obstacle in front, flashing with an alarming red light under the windshield. There is also a lane control system, the driver's seat begins to vibrate when approaching the car in front or when leaving its lane, and the seat vibrates precisely from the side from which, according to the electronics, the vehicle's trajectory deviates. There were no errors or incorrect operation of this system. An important safety component is the braking system. There is no complete unanimity in the opinions of the owners. Some people think that the brakes are a little heavy, and their performance can be rated at 3 or 4, but they are consoled by the fact that in most powerful and heavy cars, the effectiveness of the brakes is a problem, you have to take into account that there are more than 2 tons under you, and that instantly you can't stop. 
Others claim that the SRX slows down no worse, if not better than their classmates, the brakes amaze with their feedback. Compared with X3 and Tuareg R-Line, smooth braking is many times better. But most importantly, among the reviews, I came across the stories of several people about serious accidents in which they got. One slapstick on a Ford drove into a barrel at a speed of 110 km h the side airbags worked, I remained intact. If I had been on a different machine, I would hardly be writing anything now. Another author recounts how his SRX was hit from behind and sent straight into a pole at about 90 km per hour. The blow was so strong that the torn off right front wheel, along with the levers, flew 15 meters away, but none of those sitting in the cabin were seriously injured. And the man himself believes that the SRX saved his life, I'm thinking, maybe I should get a Cadillac SRX tattoo on my chest, 